So, hi, here's Renat, and welcome to the new noteworthy screencast for the talent is B Studio 5.0. I'm demonstrating a 5.0 release candidate one, and uh, here we are just going to continue to improve our service which we created in the screencast before. So it's new noteworthy screencast number one. We are going now to implement a bit logic in our service. So we have one operation which accepts a string and it sends the string back. And here in the TXML map, you can already see the incoming data is coming in, which is a country abbreviation, and then outgoing data is coming out. So, what we are going to implement now is to uh, doing a lookup. So, for example, if we are sending here an airport abbreviation, like FRA for Frankfurt or DUS for Düsseldorf. And then we should get a full name of the airport on uh, here and this from this side. So what we are going to do here is uh, to um, create a table where we can do the lookup and uh, then look up the airport by code, airport name by code. Just for, to fake the data, we will just use a tfix flow input component. In real use scenarios, you might probably need to use database um, component or something like this. And just to demonstrate how it works, I will also put a T log in log row here in the beginning. So here we are connecting. Now we are going to create a schema, which will be the airport code, which is a key, and airport name. And then we fill it with some fake data. So I just filled here airport code and airport names. Then we are going to put it into our log row so that it will display to us. And then do a lookup row in the TXML map. So the lookup row is quite a nice possibility to create, to, 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 to do some such kind of use cases here. Basically, what we just need to do now is to resize my TXML map. And we are importing the schemas. And doing a country abbreviation lookup with airport code. On the response, we are importing the schemas too. And we're taking the airport name and returning it as a airport information we call it response. So that should be it. Now we can start it. And now you can see already here on top there are three rows going from fixed flow input because the lookup table is more or less created in the very beginning of the job. And now the lookup table is ready, and then we can send the request. So we can use this API for that. If we say DUS, then we should get a Düsseldorf back. This is Düsseldorf. And if we say FRA, then we should get a Frankfurt. So our service works now. In, in the real scenarios, you would most probably not have a fixed table for the lookup, for doing the lookup. And it would be, also as I said before, would be most probably loads from the database. So you would need to reload the table, your lookup table, or redo the SQL query every time the request is going in. And this possibility also exists. So if we go to our TXML map, so we need to resize it again. And here on the left side, where the lookup is done, we can specify the properties here of this lookup row and change here the lookup model to reload each row. So then we can save it, restart it. Okay, now use our SOP UI a couple of times. Then we can see actually it still works. So that was it.